Oh, that's some bullshit. That's some fucking bullshit. He... That was a hack. That was a fucking hack, because he just insta-stabbed both of us in the back. What is with these motherfucking hackers? Like, really? Are you that shitty at a game that you can't even fucking do anything on a game, right? Like, my god. I mean, you know how easy it would be for me to go get a fucking program and sit here and just stab people in the back all goddamn day? It would be so fucking easy. What might I say? They could insta-kill you. That's some bullshit. I fucking hate that shit. Learn to play, you fucking baby. My god, does anyone actually play this fucking game the way it's supposed to be played anymore? Same motherfucker. I'm gonna kill this bastard. One shot? Are you fucking kidding me? A one shot. What the fuck's with these people just running around in this area? Like, he just one shot me with a great arrow. How the fuck? deck is level 68. And I don't know how that fucking soul, or I don't even know how that happened. Because, like, the casting time for that thing's a lot longer than that. It should have taken him at least a few more seconds. I should have been able to kill him before he got the hit off. Magic defense is pretty fucking high. Find that fucker. I'm gonna use power with then. I'm gonna slash his fucking head off. Cause that those crystals hit me and I didn't do shit. This guy's level 130. I'm gonna 
die, I'm gonna die fucking swinging at your ass. Oh my god! Oh. I'm not using this ring anymore. I'm not. I'm just wasting my fucking time at this point. Every one of these bastards are either hacking or has too much fucking intellect. Like, how the fuck is he able to carry that sword around? Oh, never mind. He's level 133. He doesn't give any fucks. I'm not giving these people any more fucking souls. They'll fuck themselves. Quit stream sniping, bitch. You have ridiculous amounts of fucking magic, and you're on my stream bitching. Find something better to do, bro. You're on my stream with the same username you just used. Stream sniping. Come on, bro. Really? And you went, you went with, you went with fucking magic, the easy button. Like you're, you're too scared to be two feet from someone. I mean, there's a reason why I don't play mage casters and I just do buffs, because it's actually a challenge. Walking around as a mage is easy. That's why I don't play it. Oh, you're the fucker that hacked behind me and stabbed him and me in the back. Yeah. No. You were directly in front of me. You can even look at my stream. You were, you were two feet from me when I was swinging. And then you magically popped up behind him. I don't want to hear it. I literally don't want to hear it, bro. You popped up behind me, and then popped up behind him. He was ten feet away from me. I watched you. Right, at, right after I died, not even two seconds after I died, you were stabbing him in the back. And he was the complete opposite, 180 degree behind you. I mean, come on, man. Really? Cheating at a cheating at a hard game because you can't don't have skill. That's just wrong, man. That's that's just weak. You see this character? Yeah, this this is all actual playing. Yeah. Time into it. Yeah, I know. I had a guy actually teleport behind me one time and stab me in the back from out of nowhere. And you were standing still. You rolled, stopped for a second, and then were behind me. And then right after that, without moving, you actually were behind me and stabbed me in the back. So, good luck riding on yourself, bro. Most of the hours I have in this game are not on this system. My, my hours are on the Xbox 360. But even the other people watching the stream are calling that bullshit. Why are you even here? I, mean, I wouldn't mind you, you know, saying, Hey, here's a tip, you know, how to improve. You know, don't, don't come here and start fucking with me. Okay, Mr. Oedipus Complex, go home. Go home before you be the first person that I block on my stream. Either stop gloating or leave my stream. Those are your options.
Oh no, I mistook you for the guy that was uh, a spellcaster named Waldock. He uh, killed me instantly by walking over nothingness while on my way to him. I literally died ten feet from him for no reason. But no, no, I mean, you did teleport. You can watch my stream. I'll clip it for you if you want. I mean, if, if you want it to be clipped, you can go ahead and do it yourself. Or I can ask Sammy to clip it for me. Hey guys, thanks for joining my stream. Watch it, man. We all know that the, P the P2P system on this game is actually pretty messy. But that that was just too... The pr timing on that was way too perfect to be skilled. I'm sorry. And the way that it happened was just... No, there's, there's no way. Like, I can understand if you got a backstab on me, but instantly backstabbing the guy 10 feet in front of me that's directly behind you, that, that doesn't make any sense, because you're stuck in animation until you finish backstabbing me. And while I hit the ground, you get the backstab, so... I don't want to see that's what it's like. I'm saying while you're in animation, you're not moving. As soon as you come out of animation, then you can move. What I'm saying is as soon as you came out of animation, you were behind him, stabbing him in the back. And he was looking at me, so you would have had to have run around directly behind him and stab him in the back while I was falling. And it was way too quick. You should have had some, some invincibility frames that were actually stopping you from moving. So it shouldn't have been that quick as it, as it was. Even then, his back was turned to the opposite side, so it was really weird. They didn't show him moving on my screen towards me. That's why we're all looking forward to the remaster, right? So that way we can actually have good connection, and not random backstabs. Master will fix uh, connectivity issues and add more P2P, uh, PvP. Because they're switching it to the way Dark Souls 3 works. Which means there's not going to be any teleporting. I mean, yeah, there could be some finicky stuff here and there, but not as bad as it is now. Latency existed a lot more back when internet was in its infancy. Latency now, for the most part, isn't much of an issue. Unless you're fighting someone that's outside of Canada. Um, Canada has a good connection to the U.S. Um, so, because I know people within, uh, within Montreal actually have a better connection sometimes or a better ping than I do in the U.S. But what will happen is you also have other people that are... I already, fin already finished them off. Uh, if you're, like, in Europe or something, yeah, you're going to have latency. You're going to have high latency because of the distance. I have seen less teleporting and random glitch backstabbing in 3 than I have in 1. One, it's almost a guarantee that you're not going to see them going for a backstab until they're halfway in your back.
Either way, we'll find out when the remaster comes out. But I don't think they're going to let their prize horse, the thing that started everything, that you know, on more platforms, I should say, because Demon Souls was first. But, but I should say, you know, Dark Souls is the one that brought it to the masses. For the most part, so I don't think they're going to actually do a remaster and not fix some of the latency issues. Because, like I said, Dark Souls 3 has better. But I mean, are you playing on the PC? For Dark Souls 3, or are you playing on a console? Yeah, right now, for the most part, it's either Steam or uh, P2P. Uh, P2P. The original Dark Souls was on P2P, and it was terrible. I mean, it's always peer-to-peer, -peer, technically. Like, if you want to be technical about the servers, it's going to be peer-to-peer -peer because it has it, even if it has a server in, in between. But it's still going to connect peer-to-peer -peer anyway because you're connecting two people to the server to each other. Peer-to-peer -peer dictates you're connecting one computer to another without a server in the middle, though. That's what P2P, you know, is. That's not the way it is in Dark Souls 3. Everyone's connected to a server. And with that, the way that the server fixes the latency issue is it actually caps to it caps the people that are on it to a certain latency unless they're further away physically. So as long as they have a decent ping to the server, they should have a decent ping to each other. Like it is with first-person shooters, you need at least uh, 100 ping, or not 100 ping, you need 150 to 200 for it to be unplayable, to be glitching all over the place. 100 still has a decent enough latency to where it would be good. Yeah, that's 200 ping and above, it's sliding around with no animation. But like I said, unless you're in Europe, because, here's the thing, even with P2P being an issue originally, this game was released way back um, in the early 2000s, which had terrible networking, almost no servers, that's why they went with the P2P netcode. Because it was a lot simpler to do that. But, nowadays, every company has huge, huge setups of servers and, you know, plenty of, uh, of cash to go for it and everything. And maintain. Technology has increased enough to where it's not an issue. I mean, hell, there's some people that are running on fiber optic with cable in here to get 90, uh, 90 ping at the most, most of the time. Your, it's your ping to the server that matters, not the ping to the other person. Because the server is actually relaying the ping. So if you have a ping, you're not going to have much latency to the person.
way, no matter how you see it or what your opinion stands on it, P2P has a higher latency issue because you're connecting to a person specifically. And their ping is what matters. Why do you think FPSs and things like that have a better ping towards other people? Use a server in the middle that actually boosts the signal. Because you're connecting to the server, not the person specifically. We're talking to a dude that went through networking, but I'm not here to talk about that. P2P has issues. We all know that. This game's old. It was running on P2P issues when it started. I'm not going to invade, because I invaded three or four times, and I was messed up by someone that didn't even do anything. Literally stood there the entire time. And another person that was a good 30 levels above me. And then I had you, which glitched backstab. So, no, I'm not going to continue to waste my time trying to get souls from people that are either glitching out for backstab or are hacking to make it to where they can kill me without even moving. Like that mage did. So, to answer your question, no. My main point of that was to get more souls. After spending a good 10 to 15 minutes doing just that, I was unable to get souls. Therefore, the point of getting souls from that is not worth it at all. So, no. The only reason I'm not beating a boss right now is because I'm trying to catch up to a friend that uh, went with the Covenant and got more souls than me really fast. Really fast. Tabs, you'd have a severe disadvantage anyway, man, because of my weapon. All I'd have to do is hit you three times and you would bleed. And that's the point of having this build. I'll admit, though, this build isn't as fine tuned as I'd like it to be. Loading again. You do realize by making yourself seem better by talking good about yourself, you're just making yourself seem like an ass, right? Like you're you're not helping, you're not providing anything. I mean it's like playing a team based game and sitting there saying how great you are. You're not doing anything for the game or for the people you're playing with to try to improve or help people. You're specifically trying to make yourself feel better because in reality you don't feel good about yourself. I don't have that problem. Why should I PvP or go out of my way to play a game with someone that obviously enjoys putting me and other people down and may have an issue with using something outside of the program? May. stream and watch. That other player had a high intellect, so yes, I admit that was a problem. What I didn't expect was to get one shot at my you know, with armor and shield and good magic resist. No, but the walking towards someone and dying instantly without any spells being cast or them moving whatsoever, and it looking like I'm literally walking over a trap or something, that, in all entirely, was not my fault. That's how you get to be a better player is you figure out what you do. I mean, I've put a lot of time in Overwatch, so...
tired of running around on a lot getting souls. This shit is just starting to bore the fuck out of me. I will say, though, thank you for joining my stream. I changed my name specifically so that way I can try to have more people watching it. And I would be invading if I had any cracked red eye ores, which I don't. I use them all at the beginning. Yeah, I know, but you have to win. That's why I stopped, because I was 4 and 0. And one or two of them were really weird circumstances. My only other option is to join the Gravelord Covenant, and... Where is the other... Oh, there he is. Come on, dum-dum, come up the fucking stairs so I can jump on your ass. Come on. Really? Okay, fine, I'll kill you the old fashioned way. I did, I did lose my humanity. Not the actual item, but I did lose the fact that I was... Uh, well, no, no, wait, wait, no. I'm sorry, I was thinking of another character. No, I was... I was hollow in this character. I forgot about that. Yeah, but there's only three or four people that are there. Uh, that are there to invade. Currently. There's you and two other people. Um, one which is around my level, which I believe is you. And then there's a level 100, and then there's someone, I think his name is like Key something, if I remember correctly, and he literally didn't even move. Like he just stood there and I, like, just died. Like I walked 10 feet from him and I was about to get ready to attack, and I just died. Like, just fell over. Moving, no nothing. Just kill command or something. Friend join the uh, is it Dark Wraith Covenant, and pop thirty levels in three hours. So pretty ridiculous. Me, I was trying to be conservative with my character, so as soon as he did that, I had to play catch up, which is what I'm currently fucking. Sammy, are you still there?
There we go. Working and homework? That sucks, bro. By the way, Sam, if you want to talk or something, you can always pop on my Discord. I'm actually on it right now. I had a friend message me, so... Dude, I'm enjoying uh, the memes. So many memes. Indeed. I like bullying people. Yeah, yeah, that's what Dark Souls is mostly about. I pretty much. I like to help people improve, though, but that's just because I play a lot of Overwatch. You know. I like helping people improve, but not when the first thing they do is accuse me of hacking. No, no. Um. If you look at the clip, it looked kind of funny, but no, that was because That's I had that... Dude. Yeah, but I mean, I had that one caster, I don't even know what happened. Like, I literally got 10 feet away from the person and just fell over dead. Like, the person That's... didn't move, didn't do anything. I'm assuming the person you invaded and then you walked up and took damage with that, right? I didn't even take damage, my health just went away. <laughs> I literally dropped to zero and just died. Like, they didn't move, there was no spells, nothing, I was dead. And I was like, okay, there's no traps spells that I know of in Dark Souls, so... No, there's no traps. The closest thing I can think of is either he casted homing soul mass or something before you invaded, and then when you walked in front of him, because of desync, if you do it before someone invades, it, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't show, up. show up. Yeah, so if you walk into it, that could kill you. Doesn't it have a timer on it, though, where it'll actually go away if they don't walk close enough? It, it's a long timer. If there is one, I don't actually know if there is, I don't think so. I don't use magic though, not really. Yeah, I'm not a caster, I like to do, I like to be up close and personal, because cheesing is not my thing. Yeah, magic's real easy to avoid, if you can roll it all. Well, I, I actually have... got, I got point blank hit a minute ago, like right before, I think right before or right after I faced you, I got point blank hit with a, with a great soul arrow to the face, and it insta-killed me, and I was like, I, I, w I was literally in the middle of attacking because they lifted their staff, and I was like, okay, I can kill him before it's casted, because I already hit him once. And yeah, it took almost all his health. pretty low HP. I, I do have pretty low HP, but um, that's, that's why I'm wearing heavy gear. Yeah, although rolling is a better defense than just face tanking it. Well, I, I didn't expect it to go off like that. Wow. Well, I guess. Yeah, I really did not expect it. Like, I expected it to take a second. Like, because usually when you cast that, it takes a second to hit. Depends on how much dex the person has. Yeah, but they also probably had the slumber. Oh. It's not the slumbering ring. There's another ring that helps you with casting, but I don't know if it's in this one. I don't know if there's one that improves cast time. I know there's one that increases damage. There's also one that increases the hitbox on it. So, say, uh, Chaos Fireball the duration of the lava on the floor or something like that. Yeah. There's a few things like that, but nothing that increases cast time. I was really sad when I realized that you can't, uh, you can't stack, uh, uh what is it, you can't, you can't stock, stack power at with replenishment. Nah. You can use a Sanctus with it, though. Oh. Sanctus is just the shield, that's all. Yeah. Well, I was actually gonna make a, a I guess you could call it a, Glass a, a sustain build on three. I actually have a deprived character that I just made for that specific thing, so I was going to try it out. Because I haven't played Dark Souls 3 in a while. I don't really have much of an opinion on three or two. I don't like those games. I think they play poorly. Well, 
Well, I really enjoyed one and the layout of one. Um, two, I didn't like as much, but I've watched a few videos over it, and you know, it's worth at least putting some time into to see. Uh, three, however, I really, I really liked a few things they did with it. It, it actually felt more like a Dark Souls one type game than it did uh, two, which I was very happy about. It's definitely closer to 1 than 2 was, in terms of PvE, anyway. Yeah, the feel of it was a lot better. PvP was pretty shit, though, in both of those games. I only really play this game for PvP. I don't really play this game too much. I mean, I beat it on the 360, and you know, I didn't, didn't play online or anything, just actually local play the entire time and beat it and put some time on it and then it flipped over. So I actually didn't do any PvPing until I hit Dark Souls 3, um, which is on the PC because I'm a PC gamer. But I had a little bit extra cash a while back and uh, didn't have really anything else going on. And I was like, I'll just get a 360 and get Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 and try them out. And then Dark Souls 3 came out and I was like, I'm gonna get me a PC. Sounds about right. Dark Souls is good. It is slightly masochistic, but you know, that's all games these days are really good. Make you work for it. A bit. I'm tired of having games that just hand me shit. It's so, it's so irritating. It can be. It depends on the game, though. Different games have different purposes. Like, you don't play Mario to feel like an overwhelming challenge. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> There is one game that's like uh, Mario, it's a browser game, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like really dickish. <laughs> like, random spikes popping up out of nowhere, stabbing you in the feet, and you have to memorize it and stuff. Thousand and One Spikes, maybe? Uh, no, no, no. Um, so that's a platformer that's really tough. There's also a game called Vagante that's still in early access, but I have a good amount of time in that. It's also similar to Dark Souls in a way, but it's a platformer. It's a tough game. Yeah, I, I like playing with people. Um, Overwatch, really, I enjoy it, but I can't really... I wish I could enjoy it more. I just, I have no patience for people that do not want to improve or do not want to try to work together as a team. Because I've played a lot of League of Legends in the past, and, you know... Yeah, like, without having good teamwork, even if you have someone that's wrecking on your team, you know, you can tilt it slightly, but not too hard. And not anymore. I mean, it used to be, you know, or actually... Uh, yeah, I started playing when Xerath came out, and that's when it was, uh... That's was, a while ago? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, I think, like a year or two after it came out, if that. So, I, I actually stopped playing it, so they've come out with so many characters, I just, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna learn all 80 new characters, so that way I can play it and like that. Eh, it's all memes, anyway. I mean, that one character that really turns into a giant dog thing, and I just start laughing. Gnar, yeah. yeah. And then they have the one that's like this old dude riding a fucking raptor thing, and I'm just like, okay, they've run out of ideas. They've officially run out of ideas. They're going all full Yoshi with this. Eh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, these people are so bad. I want to bully more people in the forest. Come in, vape. <laughs> people usually don't like to... Oh my god, is he really gonna... You little fucker! Oh. Really just walked off the fucking ledge so I couldn't hit him. No, I'm not even looking at the of black like my game. I'm trying to bully people in the forest. I your game. Um, what kind of video card are you running? I have a, uh, well, it's not even about that, it's just latency things that affects the, uh, net. Oh, yeah, because you're loading the video on top of everything. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, I have good internet, so I can stream and everything without that. Well, I have 50 up and down. Yeah, so I have, I have, fun. I've got anywhere from 100 to 3 pivots. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, I got really happy when you were all salty. It, ma it made me a happy boy. And then he called me a stream sniper. You, I don't think you uh, you know what stream sniping is. Well, I know what stream sniping is, but I looked down and noticed that your name was there, and I was like, was he really watching my stream while he was fighting me? So I wasn't sure if you were in the room at that time or not. No, I saw your name and was like, I gotta see if this guy's, like, what he's doing. I'm literally just trying to get you to my friend so I can beat the beat the damn game with this character. I have like three other ongoing characters that I'm running. I'm running one that's level eight. He's just literally running the entire game at that level, trying not to get anywhere anywhere higher. Like I want to keep him at eight, but I gave him a leeway of about level twenty just in case. Um, we might need him later if we wear gear or something. I see. There's people who play this game without leveling at all, so level one, never upgrading weapons, etc. Yeah, that well, that's using like power within and, and uh, stacking it with other things. Potentially. That's how most of them do it. I'm not well, wanting to do that. Like, I'm wanting to run it and just upgrade gear and just. Basically, I want to see if like gear can carry you. Ooh, a giant dad. Weapon and ring swap backstab ball. Oh, it didn't kill him. That did. Everyone's so bad at this game. Oh, um, Zami, if you want to jump on my Discord, all you got to do is click on the Discord down, down below my stream, man. Yeah, the, that's the how I'm word in itself. Here. Yeah, because I can't send you a new invite. Because if I do, it'll make that invite code. Um, negated so then i'll have to update it again because if you make a code for dark souls to never um to never expire and then you create another one it'll replace it with that new one so i can't i can't send you like a unless it's like a one-time invite if you invade i'll drop the whole... no. i want to bully you so bad I'm trying to play legit, like, not actually drop souls. I actually, when I first played 3, uh, I had a friend drop me a whole bunch of souls, and oh my god, it just, it was hilarious. I'll drop one or two. I mean, I'm not, like, if I wanted to, I could literally go around and I can kill small, Ornstein, um, you know, I could, or I could, could fight all these bosses. Dupe. You could just duplicate souls, it's not very hard. What I was trying to remember is, like, I wasn't sure if they fixed the dragon head glitch yet. They technically did. They have fixed it. Uh, you can still do it, but it's weird. And the timing's, like, frame perfect, I think. Oh, so you gotta be... yeah. Because I it, did it... Well, you have to do it off of, like, either falling or getting staggered. It doesn't work the same way as it used to. Oh, yeah, so you can't just stand there and flip. Yeah, if you have like a staircase, like the one in forest, you can fall off of, you can do it that way. Oh shit, he got out of that. Oh, oh this pussy didn't mash our one. Feels bad. I almost had you at the end there. Not really. I mean, I was low, but... You guys both played really sloppy. Oh, I was playing very aggressive. I, I figured well, he would be helping, but he just sat back and watched. No, For I the mean, most his, part. his positioning was okay. Basically, he was just trying to keep behind me at all times, so every time I'd go on you, I'd have pressure to get backstabbed, which I had to worry about. You ran in, and you don't have good reaction time, so you didn't run back at all when you saw me running in. If you did, you could have avoided the back step, but you didn't. Well, the the heavy swing with the scythe has a... Scythe? Uh, scythe, yeah. I know how the scythe works. I don't know. There's a few hits where I'm not sure how it didn't hit, though, because it seemed to, like, go right through you. But that's yeah, because it rolled, right? Well, you rolled, and you were in the process of getting up, and it was swinging through you at that time, and I was like, okay, that's kind of funky. That might just be hitboxes. I'd have to watch I, it I from perspective to tell you. Yeah, because I tried to time it to where it would hit you at the end, at least. Well, I know this game pretty well. I could know. I think everyone could. I actually haven't beaten the 
um, the expansion set, though I want to. I think I, I got to, um, a while back I was playing it on a really old PC that I had, a laptop, and I got to, um, where was it? I got to where the giants were, right before you fight Artorius, and hmm. I, I think that's where, where it, uh, but it was an old clunky laptop, so I mean, it wasn't able to give a good frame rate. Yeah, I mean, we are talking about Dark Souls. It's got it's a terrible port. It must use DS fix. Anyway, Which is so weird because I mean, games are formatted and created on a computer. Oh, I just they're... realized. Are you playing at 60 FPS? I'm um, actually playing at like 120. That explains your issues. <laughs> really? PvP. Yeah. Play at 30 if you're gonna PvP. It fucks with shit real bad. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah, a lot of people don't. It, it's it's more or less the equivalent of speed hacking. So, so it, it's my reaction's off things. because I'm moving too fast, but everything else is moving slower because of the frame. Because everyone else is playing at 30, you're playing at 120 or whatever you said it was. Well, I have uh, instead of capped at 120, it's running roughly at 75 frames with that loading screen. Yeah, that'll cause some problems. In PVE, it causes a lot less problems. But there's certain jumps that are like impossible at higher frame rates, and uh, there's a few ladders that can clip you out of the world if you play at that high frame rate. <laughs> I actually had one that did that, um, but it was a staircase. I got stuck on a staircase on the lip. But what's up, man? Jeez, man, what's wrong? Is your mic okay? Yeah, can you hear Yeah, I, I, can, I can hear you. Just at static. first, it went static. Uh, you good now? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh, fuck. I got stabbed, and as soon as I did, your mic spazzed. <laughs> oh, the timing. Do you have, like, an old mic or something? Uh, yeah. I lost a little, uh, piece to it. hit him though. It just it just didn't do a lot. Like it missed the second hit. The first hit though hit him because his health was lower. That was weird. Really it's weird. really weird to get the hit to get a landing or a fall drop with this weapon too because you have to have it two-handed. It won't work with uh, with it one-handed. I don't know if that's true or not. I have yet to be able to get it to work one-handed, but two-handed I'm oh. able to get it to drop. Oh, I'll test it in a second, because there's a drop here, and I have a great save. Yep, you can do it one-handed. It's weird, because every time I've tried, it just, it, like, I, uh, I tried it a few times, and it just didn't work. <laughs> I was like, he just, he just fell. <laughs> like, my character just fell. I was like, what the fuck? What is this? Ow. Get good. Is this And yeah, I'll full on admit I'm an asshole, but I, I, I pride myself on being a correct asshole. <laughs> oh, the farm is real. I'm Farmer Joe. You could try to invade. It's not that, I mean, I have to get to level... So, let's see, I need level 91 to be able to be summoned by him. Which fucking sucks. 
What is he, 125? Uh, I, he wouldn't tell me. Last time I checked, he was like 110. Probably 125. I think he's probably 80 that, or it's 89. Which, you know, if he leveled while I was fucking trying to catch up to him, that's pretty prickish. Nah, it's fine. I, I completely thought about just running through the game and just saying, have fun, bro. But he's never beaten Dark Souls or played it all the way through, so... <laughs> there was a few times in the stream I actually told him, stay back, don't go forward, and he died. Because he went forward. This is really funny. That sounds accurate. I <laughs> completely fucking missed! <laughs> oh my god. Nice. The heavy swing and completely fucking missed. That was priceless. Yeah, great sight for a weird weapon. It's weird, but it's weird. It's not a good weapon for someone learning, I wouldn't say. Well, I was attempting to roll, uh... There's a... what is it? You the, rolled, um, rolled through his legs in an arcade, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. No one's summoning me for smog, Ornstein. I got summoned two or three times and I only died once. But it's a good chunk of souls, it's 25k every time you beat them. I think you get 45k if you kill someone at 125 in PvP. Yeah, but by that point they have a ridiculous amount of spells so their tankies all get out. <laughs> well, I use pretty light armor. I don't use spells either. Well, I noticed you were using a small buckler, so I knew you were trying to, like, you try to parry if you could. Uh, small leather. Yeah. It, have, it doesn't have, uh, increased parry frames or anything like that. I thought it was a buckler. I was, I was wrong. It's similar, it's just, it's bigger. Yeah, small leather shield is used a lot just because, uh... Ah, shit. Just because it doesn't weigh much at all. What does it weigh? I think it's... Yeah, I just... Uh, yeah, it's .5. It's one of the lightest shields in the game. And for the weight, it has really good resistances. So it's worth taking, so you can put a lot of other heavier shit in your inventory. What about the, uh, the spider shield? Bandit shield? I believe that's three units. Yeah, it's three, but it also blocks, uh, 100%. Yeah, but I mean, you shouldn't be relying on a shield anyway. You should be relying on rollers, because it's better. Shield is more or less like a last resort type of thing. Another advantage of uh, spider shield in PvE anyway, it doesn't work like this in PvP, but PvE it blocks all poison and toxin if you block with it. Oh yeah, that's that's why I became really accustomed to using it. It was actually the first shield I I, uh, I started to use in Dark Souls 2. Um, before I realized that, you know, the health bar goes down as you as you die, which was kind of and the durability, like, since I was playing offline and it wasn't, um, it wasn't updated, I was literally, <laughs> I was literally playing the game on its cracked version, which was, durability would, would go down really fast, like, ridiculously fast. Yeah, because of the, uh, frame rate. Yeah, so it would, it would literally just decay in my hand. And I was just like, oh fuck, so I have a terrible decay, and my health goes down every time I die. And I formed the uh, area with the giant. Oh, I had a shield. That sucks. I'm pretty sure you can bleed the giants here. I think you can. I don't remember. I don't really care about the PE details that much. I know bleeding is three hits. If I did the life on site, though, it'd do a Depends. lot more damage, which is what I was going to use for PvP. Is the life on. Uh, it's debatable. Great size is a better weapon oh, wow. than life on anyway. No, you rolled like a frame late, and you got staggered before you were actually in your iframes. 
That's the weird thing, is like, because I'm wearing the voice ring and I'm wearing this one. And I'm still staggered hard. Confused. Well, some, some attacks uh, do infinite voice damage. Um, like, for example, uh, one in PvP is the Demon Spear. If you get hit with the R2, it doesn't matter how much poise you have, you're gonna get staggered. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah my friend called that his favorite weapon. It's okay. It's good in meta. Just because it's lightweight, it's one of the longest spears in the game. But it has split 